Okay, so I'm going to be talking about my uh, virtual environments, uh, sort of about the lighting scenarios and how the events narrative and stuff like that. Uh, the environment scenario, I mean, sorry, and just stuff like that. Um, okay, so my grey box uh, environment, or sort of the lighting section of it looked majority like this. Um, I was aiming more for a sort of Blade Runner-esque feel where sort of it was quite sort of grim and dark and sort of grubby almost. But then you sort of have those futuristic elements like all the cool neon signs and it sort of casts really cool like sort of um, reflections across the ground and stuff like that. Um, and that's sort of pretty evident in this lighting here. I looked at a lot of our Blade Runner, for example, the new one and the sort of older one um, and sort of how that looks because uh, they look fantastic. I also looked up um, quite a lot of a Star Wars concept art because I thought that was really interesting and had that sort of... Um, sort of environmental tone that I was going for in a lot of its sort of dystopian cities and stuff like that. Um, and I sort of looked at the, um, like, implementation of elements in the scene and how that could sort of change the way that sort of the scene is, sort of the whole, the whole like, like narrative of the scene and stuff like that. Um, so my number one sort of thing was how do I sort of get across the fact that it was sort of a very dystopian future, quite poor, quite not exactly the most well looked after thing. And I thought sort of like how getting a whole bunch of, if this is possible, loose sort of bits of paper and having them sort of blow around the place and stuff like that. I think that would give it a really kind of cool and sort of uncared for feel and sort of almost dirty feel. Um, and then the second one, uh, I sort of looked at uh, for the new movie coming out called Ready, Ready Player One. Um, that sort of Steven, I think it's Steven Spielberg movie. Um, and sort of the way that a lot of their sort of buildings in these sort of dystopian places were constructed of different sort of random things like old trailers and just random bits and pieces. I really like that sort of idea, how I could... So I've, I wanted sort of some, maybe some of the larger buildings in my environment to just be compiled of all these random things. Um, I thought that could look really, really cool. Um, the third sort of thing was the information of smoke, if I could, because it is quite uh, sort of almost industrial type feel. I thought that would look really cool if you could have sort of smoke rising out of the vents in the ground and maybe coming out a few sort of random tubes or valves somewhere in the scene. Um, so the third thing was how do I get across sort of how, like how would I make all the cool neon lighting look even cooler? And it sort of occurred to me that if for some like somehow it was raining or something like that and you could have these puddles on the floor which the light could then reflect really nicely into and you could have these really cool neon sort of reflections all around the place and all these little puddles of water um i thought that could look really cool as well and then in the sort of last sort of intended roles um within the sort of um final projects and stuff like that um the main t t sort of two which i was particularly interested one was the sort of whole lighting scene because I really I really enjoyed lighting and it sort of it seems really quite interesting to me um and um the second was texturing I I really like texturing although I'm not overly fantastic at it I think that there is quite a lot of room for improvement but I, yeah I really do quite enjoy doing it and it's really quite interesting to me um sort of the other elements like sort of modeling and stuff like that they're not as high on my sort of this could like sort of radar on what I would like to do, but if I had to do them, I would be quite easy pleased to do all of them. But yeah, my main two are texture, artist, and lighting. Alrighty, um, thank you for listening.